Hey everybody and welcome to The Swindle! So The Swindle, as you can see, is a steampunk cybercrime caper. It's like a platforming roguelite heist game, I suppose you would say, where you um, have a hundred days to complete The Swindle. We'll go new game. Yes, aye. I had a fiddle around to start with, but it'll give us a bit of story and then I'll explain what's going on. So London 1849. In a hundred days, Scotland Yard will activate their Breakthrough Artificial Intelligence Technology, codename The Devil's Basilisk. Well, at least it's not the devil's lettuce, I suppose. Um, it's a surve its surveillance capabilities will be total. Um, it's if the project is completed, your career as a master burglar will be untenable. That doesn't sound too good for us. Steal it before that can happen. Indeed. You have a hundred days. Again, it's, it's, it's telling me a hundred days. Hundred days. The hundred days is the important part, and I'll explain why that's the important part. So here we are. We are um, Mr. Mustachio person, game code and designed by Dan Marshall, um, and we're Mustachio Steely Man. Steely Man. Um, and we've to do stuff. We've got an upgrade tree. I'll just show you the, the workbench. I'll show you the upgrade tree where we can upgrade a variety of things to help us in our task. So what we do is we um, we come down in a spaceship type effort, a pod. And we have to steal all of the shit in a house and then get back up here successfully. If we die, we get a new randomly generated hero or burglar, I suppose, or steely man to steal some stuff. And um, we have to do that in 100 days. We've got 100 days to complete the swindle, which is the final mission, I suppose. And um, we we've got things that we can do. So, so basically, to get to like the latter stages, we need to upgrade our security clearance to actually get there. And it costs us money. If you'll see here, it costs us 400,000 to get level 5 security clearance, and that gets us to the police district to steal the Devil's Basilisk. Not the Devil's Lettuce. If I could steal the Devil's Lettuce, I probably would, because I'm that kind of guy, but we've got stuff to do. So we can't really upgrade anything just now because we don't got money, but what we can do is we can ride our activated pod thing to the next heist, and I'll show you what's going down. So we've got uh, the five security areas here, which we can see in the casino town, the banks, New Belgravia. Um, we've only got the slums that we can do, so nestled in the underbelly of old London town, where Big Ben's chimes strike hardest, lies a vast network of ramshackle housing known as the slums. Oligarchs of New Belgravia and the ruling elite have squeezed the proletariat, blah, 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 the proletariat <laughs> well out of the capital's booming property market, and as such, desolate little shanty towns crop up whatever their space. Indeed. There's simple pickings here for a thief with low morals and lower expectations, but no one's getting rich robbing the poor. Indeed, so we'll start. We're gonna go down. We're gonna go and have a swatch. 100 days remain. So here we go. Here, Henry Beresford. He said zero completed heists. What we do? We run about, we jump up and down, we jump up and down, we can wall climb, we can smack things with our club of theft. <laughs> and um, if we hold left trigger, left bumper rather, we can sneaky sneaky. At the moment, we don't have any tools. And at the moment, we don't really have much we can do. Uh, we need to upgrade all our stuff, and to do that, we need to steal from these robotic policemen who seem to be our robotic guards. I don't know what they are. You can see money on the floor. We don't want to alert them of our presence, because if they know we're here, they'll go ape shit and they'll start destroying the money for some unknown reason. They destroy the money instead of hiding it. I don't know. It's up to them. It's their money, I suppose. But um, we have to do things. It's like a platforming roguelite steely steely game. We need to be careful. We need to be silent. At the moment, the music's quite low key. I'm just going to jump and grab this and come back down. So that was what? 12 pounds sterling. 12 of the Queen's English. Give him a slap. There we go. He, he's out for the count. We've gave him a good slap. I'm going to wait till this guy comes up to the door and retreats the other direction. And what we want to do is we want to steal enough money so that we can upgrade to our next ability, which will be hacking. Because if we get hacking, I think that's actually the only one you can afford first. I probably want to just wall jump up here for a second, just so he can't get in on me. I don't want them to know I'm here, because if they know I'm here, then, you know, lights start flashing, people get annoyed, you know, the whole world comes to a halt. How do I get to that room down there, then? Interesting. I'm going to go up top and go around the top. So we've got 24 pounds. Not a lot. It's not high stakes at the moment, you know. 24 pounds. Now, there is fall damage, so we don't want to fall on our faces. I don't think he can see me down there, but, you know. Better to be safe than sorry. I'm playing a very safe game here. Normally, I'd be running about like a lunatic, but at this point in time, I don't want to get caught, because, you know, oh. 
So as you see here, this would usually be what we tack for the big payout, but we can't hack because we don't have the money or the, the upgrades available for it. Now out the back there's nothing. How do I get to that room down the bottom then? Interestingly, and this is the game. You, you sneak about and the game gets progressively harder. The more you upgrade and the more experience you have, the harder the levels get and it's all randomly generated. Alright, so let's, uh, let's have a swatch down here. I mean, I could leave right now with 36 and probably a ghost bonus for not being caught. Although I don't think you get the ghost bonus if you've not... Hmm, just wondering if we can get in that door. Don't know if you get the ghost bonus if you don't hack the uh, the thing. Just gonna do a slidey slidey wall jump. I want to get in that room. How do, how does one? I might need to bomb to get in there or something. It looks like that's genuinely separated from the rest of the world. So there might be a way to get in there if you've got the the requisite upgrades, or there might be secret walls and stuff. I don't know. But it looks like we'll have to leave with our measly haul of thirty six. But mustachioed steely man is still alive, and that's a good thing. I closed the door for some reason. I'd imagine I can probably bomb into that. Um, but we don't got bombs. It's just the way it is. So we're going to return to the airship with our 36 pounds. And uh, we're slightly happier with what we've got. So 2% cash stolen. Not a lot. 99 days remain. So every time we do anything, we um, we advance the, the 100 days or we decrease the amount of time we've got to actually complete the swindle. Aye. So I, I don't think I can do anything with my 36. Didn't even get a ghost bonus. How much? I think it's a hundred. I believe it's a hundred to buy hacking. So we'll have to, we'll have to try again. Okay, so there's a window here, which he can. In fact, I don't even think that's a window. That's just like a gap. Now, normally, again, we would be looking to hack this guy, but we can't do so. Oh, we're doubling our money already. Nice. We might actually get the hundred here for for just completing this. There we go. Solid play. Oh no. Taha. Okay, just wait for this guy to come to the edge and then ah! Give him a slap around the wrists. A slap around the wrists, a slap around the face. I was gonna say a slap on the wrists, but you know, he hasn't done anything wrong, I suppose. Oh no, I fucked it. They're destroying the money! Yeah, grab the money. Oh no! Yep, yep. At this point we just leave with our money. If we wait too long after the alarm's been triggered, <laughs> as you see these things start decreasing money as well, um, the police come and they're ra ra rather angry, rather angry individuals. And I don't want to fuck with them, don't want to fuck with the police. Um, so let's return to the airship and spend our money. So finally we can buy hacking. Hacking's the first thing you want, I think. So abilities, hack skill, Cost me a hundred for level one. Level two is fi fi five thousand. Well, that's what we're buying. Hack skill level one. Right. So now we can actually go back down and properly heist. I suppose you would say we can actually go and hack some shit. Woo! Okay. Now we're now we're in the. Now we're starting to get somewhere. This this is the early game, right? So we've got an, an immediate hacking station. So what we want to do is wait for these two guys to turn, of course. And get them a slap in the fucking face. I think I can get away with this. Hack. Okay. Down. Press right. Press down. 800 quids. Wait for to turn and go up. And uh, I'm going to leave Spikey Man there. The guy with the spikes. He can just stay where he is. Oh, I got a slow down for some reason. I got a slow motion head cracker. Is there any worth to me going down here? There might be. Don't fall on the spikes. Okay, okay, it's good. It's a good start. I think that's all the money we, we need to take. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do... Through the window. Ah, no. Yes. Oh, I can't do wall climb on windows? Oh, balls. My grand plan of escaping through that 
method was... Hmm. I don't know how to I don't know how to get this guy, but this guy seems like the easiest to to do. Nice, nice. Is there anything down here? No, we have done that. Oh, it's good. This might be the best one I've ever done. This might be the, the top tier heisting. I got hundred percent of the cash. Nice. Oh, that's the best I've done so far. It, 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 recorders, the light. The minute I started, everything. I, like, I was down to like eighty days, and I'd only done one heist before, and I think it was like eighty-three percent was my best. Now I record like a good one. That was relatively easy though. Um, I don't know if we can actually afford to do anything with our money, but I want to try, Mustache Man. Let's have a swatch and see what we can do. Okay, abilities. So that's two thousand. I think that I. Seem to think that the next ability is actually 2,000 and it's the, the extra jump. 50k for the falling. So there is fall damage and you can negate fall damage by spending 50,000 on this upgrade, which I'd be quite interested in. It's 5,000 for that. That's expensive. Tools! What tools can I have? Bombs. 5,000. Goggles. 20k for the sound goggles. And then just misc clearance is four thousand. Um, so yeah, I guess we just we we continue on then. Not bad. I can heist appropriately. So the interesting thing about the game is, um, from what I understand, when this was first shown to press, it didn't have the hundred day limit. And what a journalist had brought up was that what, as you see, now that we're starting to do stuff, there's like fucking things with lights. But the journalist said. Isn't it just easier to just go in, grab a small amount of money, run away and keep repeating the same process over and over and over again until you have enough to get to the swindle, then just do it that way? And yeah, that that would obviously be the easiest way to do it. And then, developer having this information was like, actually, what we should do is add a 100 day limit, so there's time. So every time you die, even if you die on a mission and get a new hero or a new burglar to have, you've still got that 100 day limit to complete the swindle. So t the pressure's on. The pressure is always on. Hmm. This guy looks slightly more intimidating. Is he going to walk straight out the door? Oh, he is. Surprise, bitches! Okay, we're good. We're good. Just take it nice and slow. Oh, fuck. Ball balls! He's angry! Where's the thing? Oh, the thing's there! Shit, the bed. I need to get to the, the thing. Excuse me, coming through. Money, money is dying! Oh, balls. Oh, balls. Spikes. There might not be any money left by the time I get there. Let's get him the club. He can't reach us. Uh, right. Right. Left. That's fine, that's money I can take. Hooah! Right, I want to just get out of here then. So... We got caught. Obviously. <laughs> so there's no point in hanging about because the police will come and I've got an easy 500 here that I can put into something, so I'm just going to leave. So that wasn't the best. We only got 39% of the cash. But we're, we're building up money. And of course we get an XP bonus which gives us a multiplier on our money that we get. So we stole 574. But because we're using the same hero and he hasn't died yet, we actually get an XP bonus, a 1.2 multiplier on the money we have, which is nice! That's why you want to keep your guy alive, so he can build up money more and more and more. I really like this game. There's something very endearing about it, there's something very... Sorry? Say that again, Robot Man? I'm not quite... I didn't quite hear you. <laughs> right, return to airship, because I want to see what I can buy. I'm sure we can buy a bomb, which might not be ideal. Oh, in fact, we can do a double jump, can't we? Yes. Yes. So when we go to our next heist, I can now double jump. Interestingly. Very good, solid play. Ooh. Double jump by pressing A in there, aha. So I think what we'll do is I'll, I'll actually have a look about first and see where the most... Oh, the double jump's really good actually, that's gonna help me negotiate through most of this nonsense. Oh, fuck. 
Oh, does that help me negate fall damage? If it does, that's huge. Right, so I think this will be our first port of call. These guys should be fairly easy because they're all relatively in sync. Well, there's a way for them all to come out the door. Well, this guy's a lot faster than Wheelie Man. <laughs> Unicycle policeman is quite slow. But that should be an easy 12 pounds, I suppose. So our next investment is probably the 4,000 to get to the next area. Oh, it's good. Slow down for effect. Oh no. I thought I'd fucked it there. There we go. Broken. Now they can see through windows. They shouldn't see me here though. I want to wait for Wheelman to turn around, I think. Oh, I'm going to get them both at the same time, actually, which is huge. I want to get rid of this guy as well. Right, now we can hack. Press down. Press left. Press right. Big monies. Now, it's no fun if we just leave without getting 100% of the money, though, is it? But, I mean, how do I do this? Oh, shit. Okay, th this takes a bit of a... Uh... Nice! Oh, it's good! I'm swindling! And it's just two of these wee guys over here? That should be easy game. There we go. And now we can just leave. Oh, I can double jump. Yes! Oh, it's good! Um, did I get everything though? I I'll assume that I did. Well, that double jump really helps, so... I haven't found much need to sneaky sneaky. I would like an ability to get rid of the lights as well, but um, um, I'm in a good position so far. This is the early game, of course. The game gets much more chaotic. Ooh! Now we got monies. Now we got, well, let's, uh, so we got how much we got in the bank? Nearly 2k. I guess we're looking for 4k then. So. The, the whole objective here is I want Henry to stay alive. Like, I don't want him to die because if he dies, then I lose that, that. That money multiplier, and that money multiplier is big. Right, we'll just wait for this guy to come out. It's all about taking your time. Taking your time, then club him. Club him good. Come on. Nice. I don't want him to see me. I think he's dead, actually. Yeah, two hits for those guys, and they're usually dead. There's actually no money in there, so there's no point in me even fucking with it. Um, there's no money up there either, so, you know, same again. No point in fucking with it if there's no money. This should be an easy one. One hit for you. He's quite high, which means that he could get the angle on me with that light. So wait for him to kind of reset his position, maybe. Now I've got him. Oh, that was close! Right, this is going to be the hardest part, I think. He can't see me. Obviously, he can see what he can see and what he can't. Why are you going up there? In fact, fuck off up there. That's fine. You stay up there. Down. Down. Left. Boom. Monies. Hmm. Nah. Uh, is there any money up there? Or any machinery that could be used? Hmm. There is money. Oh, it's a fucking nightmare to get in there, though. 
Do I go for the 100% or just leave with what I have? So I broke the window almost. Which may have alerted the little camera dude. Oh wait, hold on. Did I get that? Or did I ignore this? Oh fuck, I ignored it. Press <laughs> Shit. I missed this. That's some good money there. Okay, sweet. So it's just this, this pile of cash here that we need. Okay, I've opened the window now. Hmm. I don't like the angle the uh, camera thing's getting. Damn. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, fucked it. I da died. Um, see, that's that's the thing. That's the risk right there. Immediately, you can just die, and that that's what's fun about this. So now I'm now I'm on the back foot. I've lost my XP multiplier, my uh, my uh, my money multiplier. And I need to start again with a new character, and I lost two grand. So I've got Tim. Tim, no good. Fucking Tim, no good. Wheels a hat. Means business. Oh fuck. Yeah. Okay. Now, of course, your upgrades are persistent. Um. Oh fuck. Sorry, fellas, but you know, there's money to be had. Oh balls, balls, oh balls. Ah. Okay, it's much easier now that there's only one on that side. And I should be fine to get this and no one can see me. So press right. Press right. Press up. Oh no. I thought I was going to die of fall damage there. Just going to grab that money and run. Well, that's, that's another hackable thing. There we go. Okay, so we'll hack. Get our monies. And Tim no good will be getting himself a brand new pair of shoes. Just mean should have got an appropriate escape route. There has to be money over here though. Ah, there is. Oh, balls. Oh, that's a good strat. Gap strat, we'll call it. <laughs> Gap strat. money up here as well. That's easy money. Easy for the taking. I think that might be everything. Oh no. Okay, fall damage is a terrifying thing. It's ended most of my runs. Oh, balls. I shit myself, but it's fine. Run away. <laughs> God damn! Okay, we were heisting. Let's uh, let's go again. At least we got all the money. Um, aptitude bonus, dear lord. So at this point, we're just collecting as much as we can. Um, one successful heist. Aye, aye, aye. Right, okay. This could be a tough one. Ah, it shouldn't be too tough. Oh no! Don't lock yourself in. I hit him so hard the game was like, that's a good hit, that is. This is going to be a tough one. Hmm. Okay, good, we planned that perfectly. Okay. Is there any money? No. Is there any money? No, then I don't want to be here. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to go over the top. We're going to go over the roof. And see if we can find some stuff on the other side. There we go. Man, this game's awesome. Like, why are there not more great stealth games? 
I mean, the stealth in this is very simple, and that's why it's cool. It's the gameplay that makes it fun. The tension. I'm tense. What the fuck is that? That's a bomb. They've set a mine of some description. Hmm. How do I... How do you even deal with that shit? Oh. Wait, hold on. Hack? Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Run away! Oh, wait, hold on. I guess that's now in my... I guess that mine is now mine. <laughs> I guess that's what happened. Oh, fuck. Oh! Okay, so there's where I need to be. How am I meant to deal with that mine? Right, hold on. We've got we've got work to do here. We've got investigative burglary work to do, right? So the only way into that room is this way, and there's a fucking guy and a mine and a fucking cameraman. Oh no. Oh! Awesome! Right, let's hack this shit quietly and get out of here. <laughs> I guess there's no way to actually, like, get away from that. That was just, you know, a, a done thing. Right, Tim, let's get out of here. Tim, no good. Oh, there's bells. Hell's fucking bells. Right. Before the police officers arrive, let's get out of here. Oh, that was only 81%. There must have been another hack station then. But that conveniently leaves us with, with 4K. So we can uh, do something. I mean, the aim here is to get as far as possible. So let's up our security clearance. Yes. So what that means is that we can now go and do, you know, better heists. We can actually go to the warehouse district, which I've never been to before. I've only done the slums. Aye, so, lined along the banks of the Thames is a vast array of colossal warehouses, each docked to the river to allow easy import and export of goods around the world. London's fantastical industrial growth means uh, practically everything from cogs to hack chips is manufactured and shipped from here. Building owners are increasingly are wary of the threat posed by London's underground tea leaf circuit, um, have invested in next-gen technology to secure their premises. Alright. Let's go and fucking steal some shit then. Tim no good. Greatest greatest burglar of all time. Right, this is all brand new to me, so. Wait, hold on. That that door looks Wait, he has a minigun on his head. Locked. Right, this looks like a good access point. Right, let's sneak up on this so we don't. Okay, oh, we get 72 per, per bag of monies. Look at the size of this fella here as well. Oh, fuck. Oh, no! I blew myself up. <laughs> Tim, I salute you. I think that'll do for today's episode. If you like the swindle, let me know in comments. Leave a like if you wish. If you want to see more, of course, I'll probably be doing more because I enjoy this game an awful lot. And I will see you next time.